Hey, what's up everybody? Neighborhood Picks. Uh, like and subscribe, tell a friend, spread the word, and uh, let's get into it. NFL. Today we're doing our pickums. We're doing it a little different today. We're going to start an interactive game. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to go down the line and I'm going to pick every game. If I want to talk about a team or something like in depth, it'll be a separate piece, short clips. But we're going to do each game. I'm going to pick every game with the spread. At the end, I'm going to give you my best three. Now, here's where it gets interactive. If you're watching, I would like you guys to, at the end, give me in the comments your best three bets with the point spreads. Your best three. Everybody who gets in, we're going to tally them each week. I'm going to come into the following week. Oh, so-and-so had this. You're in the lead. You're in the lead. So... Each week we're going to go 3-3-3-3 three, 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 till week 18. At the end of week 18, whoever has the most winners from the three a week, I'm going to give a $100 gift card as, a, as the reward. That's the title. So with that being said, um, we're going to go on the honor system now. When I beat all of you guys, I'm going to show you the PayPal. And you guys, no matter how many there are, you divide that number by 100 and you send me my wins, all right? <laughs> all right, uh, let's get started. Let's go down the matchups for this weekend. Okay, uh, Jesus, here we go. Okay, you got the two and four Redskins at the Green Bay Packers, at the five and one Packers. Um, Washington's been in a little bit of a tailspin. They got a lot of guys banged up. Gibson with the shin lately. Uh, we got the check down gobbler, McKissick. Hopefully he catches another 13 passes for like 11 yards. Got him on my fantasy team patching up the Hunt and Chubb thing that I got going south, but that's another story. Um, Washington is 2-4 and four at Green Bay. Green Bay looks like they're humming. Aaron Rodgers and Adams can like do it by themselves, and Aaron Jones is a superstar. Aaron Jones is he's an A1 football player. I love that kid. Um, give me Green Bay minus the 8. I'll lay, green, I'll lay the 8 points with Green Bay. Take a shot. I don't like laying points that much, but... We got six weeks of football in us now. We've all seen a month and a half. We're all, we're just a third past the season. The first third of the season's gone. And now I think it's a good time to start this. So, um, okay, that, here's where we're going with this. Uh, Green Bay minus eight. Uh, next, here's one that baffles me a little bit. Kansas City, the team that never covers, okay? Why are they a four and a half point favorite at Tennessee? who just beat Buffalo. Tennessee is a four and a half point favorite at home versus the Chiefs. The Chiefs never cover. They barely ever cover. Now they're daring you to take them again, and they're ignoring the fact that Henry is in a, a special time. Like you don't see players play at this type of level all the time when you see like real greatness, like I'm really impressed with Henry these last couple of years, and uh, he's like an X factor. He's not just any running back. He's the best running back, and I'll take Tennessee plus the four and a half. That game could come down to a field goal. Give me Tennessee plus the four and a half. Mahomes has 1,800 yards already, and uh, he's on pace. Like He doesn't get his credit because the team isn't winning, but there's nothing wrong with him. The Chiefs, if you really want my opinion, they need to get Josh Gordon going in that in there. The Chiefs need to get Josh Gordon on that field. They're missing that second, the third pass catcher. Kelsey and Tyreek Hill are tremendous. They need that third pass catcher. And I think the sooner Gordon gets acclimated to the Chiefs, you're going to see them improve. But for now, I'll take Tennessee plus the four and a half. A rematch of the 2019 AFC title game, too. Which tennis, uh, remember Tennessee had that big lead, like 21-0, and, and, and the Chiefs came back and beat them. Oh, I can't believe it. I was in Atlantic City that day, and we left the casino to go home. Thought the game was over. I had the Chiefs. They were losing 21 nothing, something 24 nothing. And uh, by the time I got home, we won. But uh, thank God I didn't rip the ticket. <sighs> um, what do we got next? Okay. Oh, hey, also, Derrick Henry's got 783 yards. Uh, you know, like six games in. Oh, my God. He... He could go over 2,000 again, maybe even break Eric Dickerson's record. If he could, oh my, I can't believe this. I can't, it's amazing. So, okay, keep it moving. Keep it moving, Nooch. Uh, Atlanta Falcons, 
minus two and a half at the Miami Dolphins. Um, this it's here's here's the tough thing for me. Um, can we keep it down over there? I'm filming. Um, so uh, where was I? Atlanta minus two and a half at the Miami Dolphins. Um, I have a tough time putting any money or any wager on a team that's averaging 16 points a game. It's 2021 in the NFL, and I, the Dolphins are averaging 16 points a game. Everything's safe. Two already got his fucking ribs smashed. Uh, I don't like, I, I like the Dolphins, but I don't like them. Atlanta, they still got Matt Ryan. If you look up his numbers, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but um, they're, they're not bad, Matt Ryan's numbers. Pitts is the, is leading the team in in uh, re receiving yards, even though it seems like he isn't doing anything. He's still leading the Falcons in yards. That kid is supposed to be tremendous. Maybe there's like a little little learning curve for him. If the, I think the Falcons could produce more offense, so give me the Atlanta Falcons minus two and a half. So um, yeah, I'll take them in that game uh, just because of the, the Dolphins' lack of scoring ability. And um, okay, New York Jets. Oof. The one and four New York Jets are getting seven at New England with Mac Jones. New England's two and four. When was the last time New England was two and four? Um, Jesus. Oh, this is a tough one. I'm doing this in real time. I wanted to stay away from the game. I watched last night's game, but I was really into basketball, getting caught up with that. And I want to look at this fresh and then just, I did a little homework and stuff, but I didn't want to make picks. So I'm really looking at this in real time with you guys. Um, okay. Hmm. Jets plus seven at New England. Mac Jones is getting better and better. Dallas had to go to OT to beat New England. I'm remembering in my head the job they did on Brady even though they lost. The Jets, I don't trust them yet. So give me New England minus the seven at home versus the Jets. Okay. So we got Green Bay, Tennessee, Atlanta, New England. Okay, game number five. Carolina Panthers are minus three at the New York Giants. Um, I'm going to give it to you simple about the Giants because I'm a Giant fan. I know the squad. Daniel Jones is the team's rushing leader right now. Okay, and he's had a concussion and been careful for two weeks. Okay, he's the rushing leader. Uh, Barkley out. Kadarius Toney out. Galladay out. Ingram questionable. Give me Carolina minus the three. Moving on. Um, and I'm a Giant fan. It's disgusting. I'm so upset. Now, next, my game of the week. This is my game of the week um, because of what Baltimore did to San Diego, San Diego, the Chargers, last week. Baltimore has some offense. You just can't figure them out. Do you think Mark Andrews would be the player he is if he was the tight end for the Giants? No. They have such a juggernaut, the way they play, with the RPOs and the running attack and Lamar Jackson throwing, running. You never know where the ball is. First of all, I don't think Lamar Jackson gets enough credit on being such a tremendous ball fake guy. Um, he's tremendous at his ball fakes, keeping the ball blind where you can't see it. He's got his shoulder tucked. He's really good at ball fakes. You don't know who's got it. By the time you do, he's popped out. He's hit Mark Andrews 35 yards down in the seam. It's it's a hard offense to stop. I mean, it was an eye-opener to see what they did. However, they when are they going to have their come-down-to-earth game? They're playing the Bengals. I just got news. Latavius Murray, out. Sammy Watkins is out. So... Jamar Chase showing me stuff. Jamar Chase, very impressed, especially that block down the field. Joe Burrows, he's one of them guys, he looks like a jerk. You don't like him, but <laughs> when you look at him closer, he's got that something that like you can't see. Like the kid tore his ACL last year. He's back. He's, he's winning. The Bengals are 4-2. and two. I mean, Baltimore's 5-1, and one, but Cincinnati's 4-2. and two. And you know what? They're a plus six and a half road road dog at Baltimore. Plus six and a half. That's too much. That's my pick of the week. <laughs> I went down in a blaze last week. Baltimore owes me. I'm going I like 
I like Cincinnati plus the six and a half, and I'm going on record. That's my pick of the week. That's going in my top three in the comments because I'm going to leave Nooch, and I'm going to leave my three picks because I'm in on this too. What do you think? I'm just letting you guys play, and I'm not getting in. So, um, okay, I like Cincy plus the six and a half. Burrows, and they got a running game. Mixon, they got they, they got they got a decent team. Cincinnati, they're sneaking up on people just like my Tennessee. Nobody gave them a shot. I almost fainted when I looked at the preseason odds in Tennessee. All I had to do was put a hundred dollars on them at Mammoth to win three thousand dollars to win the Super Bowl. First of all, they're in the worst division with the Colts and the Texans. They're going to win the division easy. Now they're four four and two plus three thousand. Whew. That was my one shot this year. I got Tennessee to win the Super Bowl. That's my shot. $3,000 if that wins. With my Antonio Brown over 700 yards. Um, damn, he's out again. He's going to get 700 in nine games. I don't know what's going up with him. So um, where were we? Okay, uh, now the Eagles. The high-flying Eagles. <laughs> the two and four Eagles. What a division we got. Dallas is going to clinch before Thanksgiving. Um <laughs> Uh, the Eagles are plus two and a half point underdog at the 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 newly banded together four and two Las Vegas Raiders. Four and two. Woo! They got rid of Chucky. Hey, it's me, Chucky. <laughs> they got rid of uh, Gruden's ass. Four and two. They whooped up on Denver. Was it last week? Denver. I told you they were the most fugazi three and zero ever. If you watch my videos every week, did I tell you Denver was a fugazi three and zero? They lost a lot four since. Denver came out. They played the Jets, the Giants, and the Jags. They were three and zero. Like, oh, Denver, they're so good. Yeah, okay. Um, that was that wasn't hard to spot. I'm not exactly gonna pat myself on the back for that one. Uh, give me the Raiders minus a two and a half over Philly. Raiders are home. I think they'll smoke them. Um, I'll take the uh, Vegas. Now Detroit zero oh and six. We got two games that are such stinkers. The point spreads are. 16 and 18. I'm going to give them to you real quick. We don't need to waste a lot of time on this. I'm just going to pick them to pick them because I'm going to pick every one. I'm going to keep track and then give you my best three, like I said. Um, <laughs> Houston is getting 18 points at Arizona. Well, let me just talk about Arizona for a second. This gives me a second to talk about Arizona. Christian Kirk. Hey, Bilbo Baggins. Are you watching? Bilbo Baggins. This guy has been busting me to mention Kirk because he knows I love me some Kirk. I love me some Kirk. If 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 Mr. I get hurt all the time, AJ Green ever goes down, you watch how Kirk really comes through. His targets are nice now. It's like seven, six, seven, six, six. He had one one game, and then he went right back to six. Like Kirk had one little disappearing game, but he's been good all year. So Christian Kirk, Bilbo Baggins. Uh <laughs> who the hell are you taking that game? Give me Arizona minus the eighteen. They win twenty seven to uh Six, all right. Arizona. I'll take. I'll go on record. I'll take Arizona. I'll lay the eighteen. They go to seven and zero. Oh. Um, okay. The other stinker is Detroit. Oh, versus the five. Detroit zero oh and six versus the five and one Rams. Another game where I could just talk about something that's a fun team. You got uh, Stafford, best start ever on a new team ever. He's got like eighteen touchdown passes, sixteen touchdown passes already. You got Cooper Cup and Woods. Oh, what a what a passing attack. Five and one. Minus sixteen points. You know what? I would take the Rams in this one if it was minus thirty-six. I'm predicting forty-eight to eight Rams. I'll lay the sixteen with the Rams. And Cooper Cup's gonna have two hundred and fifteen yards receiving. Because I have him on my fantasy team, he better. So um yeah, give me the. I'll take the Rams laying the sixteen too. I didn't come down with my final with my best three. Not until I'm done. And this is only Sunday's games. No Thursday, no Monday. Sundays. End of the week eighteen. Hundred dollar gift card to the winner. Don't forget that. Like and subscribe, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, okay, now we got the Bears plus thirteen. We got the Chicago Bears plus thirteen against uh, the greatest living American, Tam Tommy Tommy Tampa. How you doing? I'm t why am I talking like I'm from Chicago? <laughs> um, this is a tricky one. Rob Gronkowski, out. Antonio Brown, out. We've seen them compromised, not on all cylinders this year, when they they both missed, I think they both missed the Patriot game too, right? I believe so. 
and we saw them missing that missing pieces that are not exactly the same. You, I know next man up, and I know they still got Godwin and Evans, but it's a different nucleus. So, man, Herbert for the Bears, that other running back that's that's playing for Williams, who was on the COVID list or something, actually ran the ball really well last week. The Bears only got to get better, and they're getting 13 points at Tampa Bay. I like Tampa Bay to win the game, but I see Tommy coming back to the to the sideline, a little frustrated at the beginning, screaming. You know, Brady, he's like so cool in the interviews. And he's screaming. I saw them pan to Brady. They got to stop panning to Tom Brady on the bench. They pan to Brady after like the first series last week. All of a sudden, they pan to him. He's on the side of there. And they're like, there's Tom Brady. Great example for the league. And he goes, cocksucker, suck, cocksucker, motherfucker. I read his lips. I'm like, oh, shit. Brady's a hothead on the sideline. So they got to stop. Guys, Fox, whoever the hell you are, stop panning to the quarterbacks after a frustrating series. You're not, it's not going to be flattering lip reading, okay? It's going to be like that time Bill Belichick told Adam Thielen, shut the fuck up. But that was Thielen's fault. Yeah, I bet you if you look that up on YouTube, you can find that. I was watching a game one time, Thielen caught a pass, and he spiked it, and he's saying something to Belichick, and Belichick goes, shut the fuck up. And uh, that was, that reminded me of uh, Brady always getting caught on the sideline, lip reading. Yeah, you know what? With with those guys injured, Tommy, he's going to throw a couple lasers, overthrows. It's going to get started slow. If the Bears ever get the lead early, now you're up 20. I see this game being a little closer than 13. Give me the Bears plus the 13, even though Montgomery's still out and all that. Now, the last game, the night game. This is a season make or break for both teams. You got the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers. Both teams are all well, Indies two and four, San Fran's two and three. They both need the win. I don't like Carson Wentz. Mm, I don't like him. I don't like that motherfucker. He's always getting hurt. He's holding on to the ball too long. I like Indy's team. I like Jonathan Taylor. I like a lot of guys on their team. I like the defense at times. But San Fran, they got I think they got better coaching. Mitchell's back, one of the running backs. The original horseman, though, like when it was Mostert, Mitchell. I like those backs. With Sermon, Mitchell, they're at home. They're laying four. Indy, mm, you know what? I have no faith in Indy. I have a little bit of faith in the 49ers. So I'm going to go, even though Indy had Baltimore beat. That's how crazy the NFL is. That's why I want us to get into this interactive shit where you leave your picks. So I'll, uh, I'll get that in a second. So I'm going to go with San Fran and lay the four. Okay. Now I got to come up with my top three for the official for the comments down below. And you guys, I want all you guys to leave your top three in the comments. My top three, well, definitely Cincinnati plus the six and a half points. So that's one. Um, I'm going to catch a lot of shit from my boys, <laughs> but I think Carolina minus three over the Giants is a lock too, and shit, this is for $100, and, uh, and I want to win too. Carolina minus three over my New York Giants. I'm so disappointed in my Giants. I'm wearing Tampa Bay hats with Bill Parcells behind me on the player's shoulders. I'm ashamed of myself. Right? I'm ashamed to be a Giant fan right now. I'm in witness protection. I don't even wear hats with brims that are tilted. This is just because I'm, I'm a Giants fan. I don't even want anybody to recognize me. <laughs> um, okay, I got Cincy, Carolina. And let me be careful with this. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Chicago. This might not be my final answer. Hold on. Hold your horses, people. Hmm. Cincy for sure. Carolina, I'm, scr I'm scratching them off. I'm not going against my team. What am I, a traitor? No way. You know what? Give me Tennessee, my team, to win the Super Bowl, plus four and a half at home. Yeah, give me give me the points at home and the and the most devastating running back we've seen in over a decade. Yeah, give me them. KC no cover. The no cover Chiefs. Oh. Jesus. Like a uh disgusting with them the last year and a half on the spreads. Okay, Cincinnati plus six and a half, Tennessee plus four and a half, and then who do we want here? We got Atlanta. You know what? Yeah, my rule is to stay away from shit games. 
Guys, if you're betting the whole board, you're fucking crazy. Don't ever bet the whole board for real because you'll never win. You're not going to win. So make sure you get your best bets. I almost said Atlanta going minus two and a half over Miami. But what's my rule with myself? Stay away from those shit games. Cincinnati, Baltimore is not a shit game. Tennessee, KC, that's not a shit game. All right, so I got one more. I got one more in the bank. I got one more. Come on, Nucci. Come on, Nucci, baby. Who do we like? Who do we like? Now, we got good teams playing a shit team. That's not exactly a shit game to me. A shit game to me is two shit teams. So what are we going to do here? You know what? I think the Lions are just... It's not going well with Dan Campbell. Too much emotion, not enough X's and O's. You got to have that balance. He's biting kneecaps. He's doing this. Dan, get a, get a, I don't want to start cursing. Rams. Uh, you know what? I'll lay the 16 with the Rams. So those are my three best bets. I'm going to put them in the comments so everything's there. Everything's got to be there. So everybody right now, before I click off, leave your best three bets with the spreads in the comments below. I'm going to tally them each week. We're going to say who's in the lead. I'll read off the standings each week. And then at the end of the year, at the end of week 18, whoever wins, getting the $100 gift certificate sent right to them immediately, right after the games. Okay? So, Nucci baby, I got Cincinnati plus 6.5 over Baltimore. I got Tennessee plus 4.5 over the Chiefs. And I got the Rams laying 16 to beat the snot out of the lowly Detroit Lions. All right? And that's it for Friday Pick'ems. Leave your comments below. Uh, Bilbo Baggins, you're welcome for mentioning our boy Kirk. That's our boy. And uh, make sure, let's get this shit going. I don't really care if there's three of us, 13 of us, 30 of us. I'm not really sure. Maybe some of you guys are scared to get in because, you know, we got, you know, heavy hitters over here. Don't be afraid to leave your best three under there because I'm a man of my word and that's what we're doing here. So that's the Friday Picks. Have a great weekend, and I'll pro you'll be seeing me on the other videos before the weekend's over. But that's uh, that's it for Friday picks. Take it easy.